It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, so today we're going to shim it and trim it. Welcome YouTubers, Geezer here. Uh, thank you for stopping by to see what's going on today. Uh, it's a it's a real pretty day today. A little bit windy, but all in all, it's it's really not too bad. Uh, the other day when I was out here and relocated the uh, awning brackets, I noticed that the uh, vinyl trim inserts on Old Classy were were in pretty bad shape. Uh, and they had shrunk up in several places, exposing the track, and uh, the stuff that was there is old, dry, cracking, faded, just just nasty. In fact, here, let, let me get a piece piece off of here. This is this is what I'm talking about right here. This is so this is so dry if you if you pinch it very hard it just splits. I don't know if you can see that or not. But see right, right there. So I decided I would I'd get some new and redo it. And uh hang on. I bought a hundred foot roll of uh of new stuff and you can see it's it's stiff but it's real pliable now you're probably wondering uh, why I didn't get a match uh, old classies she's kinda old and faded kinda tired looking so I thought I'd change up the color a little bit when I went looking uh, I couldn't find any colors you know like red or blue or even green all I could find was a few different colors of brown and off-white, which is probably what this was to start with. Pure white, gray, or this black. I thought the black might set it off just a little bit, so that's why I went with the black. Now, I've been, uh, been playing with this a little bit before you got here, uh, and this new stuff is, is pretty stiff, and it's kind of hard to get in the tracks. But what I found, just as a tip for you if you decide to, to do anything with yours, if you pre-fold it right down that little ridge there and kind of flex it a little bit, it makes it a whole lot easier to put in the track. Uh, I've had this in part way and then took it back out so I could show you what I was doing. But uh, that's the project and uh, let's get her done. The idea of this stuff is to uh, cover these screw heads here that hold this rail on, but underneath this rail are screw heads that secure the flooring to the side of the camper. So this is floor level right here, and there's screws that run through there, and then this covers it, and then the idea of this trim is to cover those up and create a uh, water resistant seal over all that. So, first thing I want to do is stick a little caulk right here on this end. For that to sit into and seal the end and then we'll work out from there. Like I said, if you kind of flex this stuff a little bit, it goes a whole lot easier. And even then it's not real easy. There it goes. Okay, I'll just work that down to the other end and I'll get back with you. Okay, we're we're coming along. Just about to the end. I'll be right back. 
Okay, there's six feet done. 94 feet to go. You can see down here on this end where all the damage was. I just cocked the crap out of that. So that ought to make a nice seal. Step back here. I think it looks kind of neat. I'm happy with that. So I'll keep after it. Get back with you after a while. Well, that's a wrap on this side. Uh, I think it came out pretty decent. I'll go ahead and do the other side. Probably call it a day. Uh, here, let me lift you up there where you can see what the top looks like. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but I'll give you a little pan down the side here. Uh, so there's another thing crossed off the to-do list. Um, another thing that we got accomplished uh, this last week is uh, we took the girls, Midge and Molly, out to the uh, animal shelter where they have a, a vaccination clinic every Wednesday. And uh, I was going to make a little video out of that trip, but they wouldn't let me bring my cameras inside, so uh, didn't get to do that. But I can tell you they're fully vaccinated. They, you know, rabies, parvo, distemper, all, all the vaccinations. Uh, I got their tags. They're registered. I got extra paperwork to take with us uh, in case we need it for them. Uh, got a three-month supply of flea and tick. Uh, preventative, heartworm stuff, the whole the whole nine yards. The girls are ready to go that way. So uh, that's another one checked off. And while I'm out here doing this, Lucy's making new curtains for inside. So probably the next time I talk to you, we'll be putting curtains up inside. And that that's kind of exciting because those old uh, blinds that's in there they just suck. So I'll be tickled pink to get rid of them. But uh, we're 42 days away from departure uh, on the bucket list expedition. Time seems like it's just flying now. Uh, there's quite a bit left to do, and I'll bring you out with me when, I, when I'm working on stuff. But uh, until then, from myself, the entire Geezer gang, including old Classy here, she's part of the gang, you know. We'll talk to you next time, and until next time, happy trails.